Hey, it's Broford here. Me and a couple friends have decided to play a one-shot and record it. There will be four players, my friend Kaysock will be the DM. Kaysock, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Kaysock, and like Broford said, I'm DMing this quote-unquote one-shot while we take a break from his campaign. You'll be hearing enough from me, so I'll keep it short and just say that links to where you can find me will be in the description, including my YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Remember to like and subscribe, and leave a comment on what you think of this campaign. Without further ado, let's get into the game. All right, so um, without further ado, let's get started. Get us happy. Uh, you four have um, are a uh, group of adventurers who have just sort of started. You guys have had plenty of experience before you guys found each other. Uh, this is pretty much the only uh, the the first mission that you guys have decided to take on. When you, uh, when you sort of got together, started drinking together, uh, a man by the name of Maverick finds you within a, within a tavern. Uh, within this tavern, he tells you, regales you about this mission that went all wrong, uh, recently. It, it about maybe ten days ago. Um, and... He tells you about this cult. Uh, if you if you wasn't so desperate or like the way that he was communicating, sold to you how real it was, no matter how weird that it sounded. Uh, and just you guys decided that now that you guys are uh, established, let's go let's go find this place. Uh, as you guys approach this this uh this building that was described it's unusual the uh maverick had described it as a very um successful looking uh textile shop in the middle of nowhere but now the building at least well at least now the building looks decrepit almost there seems to be no signage out front all that's left on the front door is a simple piece of paper saying closed for good. Um, and it seems to be locked. What would you like to do? I'll need a moment to start casting something. Are the windows boarded up? Uh, no, the windows are not boarded up. Uh, Can we take a peek inside? Yeah. Um, when you take a peek inside, it's it's dark inside. There's no light. Uh, you can barely see the uh, uh, just the interior. You can see some shelves, but they're all gutted. You can see what seems to be scraps of cloth just hanging up loosely on the walls, but they're for the most part, it's barren. Uh, streets empty. Or what? Are the streets empty? Yeah, the streets are empty. Uh, hilt of the sword. Uh, bash into the window. All right. Uh, make a strength check for me. You might want to put some cloth over that so it doesn't make much noise. Yeah. What's it called? Um, I'm going to cast mage armor on myself. Just oh, that's a strength uh, save. get go. <laughs> uh, so now AC is up. All right. Um, you smash the uh, the window kind of clumsily. You take uh, five slashing damage as pieces of uh, large chunks of glass fall onto your arm and like onto your hand and start cutting just small cuts. Uh, and you have that redux armor, right? I do. Yeah. No, you're right. I probably should have used the cloth. Uh, and he will just take the rest of, like, the, the guard of his, uh, uh, blade and just, like, fill out the rest of the window to, like, break it all down. So that we can pass through without cutting ourselves. Okay. Before we head in, if you would give me a moment, I could cast some spells on us to make it safer to traverse. If you don't mind, of course. Sounds good to me. And he'll start casting. Um, this will just take me. This will take about ten minutes. So maybe keep a lookout. But it'll um, afterwards we'll be able to communicate with each other. And he'll start casting Rary's telepathic bond on everybody. 
I imagine we should probably have done that while we're inside the building. I have made quite a bit of noise as he's like still scraping out glass. <laughs> Oops, stop heading inside and he's still focusing on his spell. And he can follow you guys. He can move while we casting. I hop, uh, hop into the building through the windows. I follow. Uh, Once he opens the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tori can't fit through the window. Uh, is there uh, like a, a proper lock on it or is it like, was the door like boarded up? The door is locked okay. from the inside. So I will unlock it from the inside. Okay. And so now it is opened, and you find your way inside. You find your way inside. Fuck, let me move the flag. There we go. You know. Oof. All right, so uh, you walk inside, and it is... Uh, as dead as it looked out from the outside, you can see that there's, uh, the only light that's coming in is from the sunlight that is currently, uh, coming from the windows. Uh, everything else is, uh, there's no source of light inside. Uh, and you see that there seems to be, like, a light layer of dust that covers everything in here. Maverick did tell you that uh, after you showed interest in taking the case that there is a door to the left of the store and that there is a hidden door um, that leads into the uh, the the underground area. Very well. Okay. And you should be able to open and close doors as you will here. Oops. If you all yeah, just stay, if you all <laughs> just stay close while I cast the spell to make sure that it doesn't. Oh, right, 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 right. We still have a little bit of time. I'm just gonna investigate this room while you're still if... casting. Okay. Uh, you can see that the bookshelf is out of the way, exposing the um, the stairs that go down immediately. Uh, it seems to have been left open open by whoever was here last. that catches my eye at this moment? Uh, nothing without an investigation check. Uh, yeah, there's nothing that really catches your eye uh, that's extraordinary. <laughs> there seems to be a couple of receipts that were left over. Uh, you can see that, indeed, this place sold textiles. Um, but other than that, it seems like there, there seems like there's some blood spots on the bed, but this to be expected after hearing what kind of struggles went down here last time. Hmm. Our dear friend was correct. There is a secret entrance down there. Hmm. I'm just gonna peruse if there's any uh, uh, silk, or not silk, what is the word for it? Cloth and stuff like that left over. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some left over. Um, are, you, are you like trying to see if there's any expensive ones or something? No, just looking around while he casts his spell. This my character's doing that. Okay. Uh, if you would like to make it a uh, um, perception or an investigation check, feel free to. All right. Um, so with that perception, you can see that um, the the tapestries that were kind of left there. I mean, they're just samples of the silk that you could have bought here at one point. Is pretty high quality uh it seems like they may have gotten rid of their more well-known stock you can tell you can tell by the uh the the sparing price tags that you see here and over here and there but the uh the ones that are left are most certainly not their highest quality but still their mid-grade things are very much high quality like compared to average everyday stuff okay where do they leave this stuff behind, regardless? Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, how long is that ritual cast, and what, uh... It's what are ten you minutes. Casting? It's ten minutes, and it's Rari's, uh, telepathic bond. Rari's telepathic bond, okay. 
I think telepathic bond is the exact same thing. So it's just they're from different books. So if you look that up, too, it'll work. Basically, I, we all can talk to each other without speaking. As long as we're on the same plane of existence. Damn. Yep, so we have the best communication. It activates. The turtle is, like, listening to metal music in their head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Um, you are su successfully able to communicate with each other uh, through just through telepathic bonds. Um, Fascinating. We, uh, so without speaking, uh, can you all hear me? I can hear you just fine. Indeed. Spell worked successfully then. We can either head up ahead, or if we are worried about anything magical, I could also... I have a few things that could let us scout up ahead, or also just detect magic as well, but... Unfortunately, they would also take ten minutes to cast, but I could do that ahead of time. I mean, I'm not in a hurry to get down these stairs, are you? I am. Not necessarily. I think we need to at least pick up the pace, as it up here seems to be deserted. Making our way down is probably should be done quickly. Alright, so, as you guys make your way down the stairs, um, you can hear sounds of what seems to be, uh, this loud masculine voice shouting commands, um, mostly involving different uh, physical movements as well as like sparring commands, uh, and you can hear what sound the sounds of like scuffles going on, like clangings of swords hitting sword, uh, grunting as people hit the ground. There seems to be sort of like a pr routine going on. Uh, I will remind my companions telepathically about the traps that we were warned about on the stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, since we've been warned, won't be able to... can we make perceptions with advantage when we go down? Since, well, since you're what? Since we were warned about them, can, if as we go down the stairs, can we make it have advantage in perceiving them? If there are any left. Uh, sure. All right. Well, there's the nat um, twenty. So, yeah, the the trap is still there, and it seems to be active. But you all are able to detect it, except for uh, Masayoshi. Um, but your companions are able to detect it and stop you from stepping into it. Oh, we should all roll stealth, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. This should probably go without saying, but uh, just that we are. I'm gonna assume everybody <laughs> is speaking through their head rather than out loud. Yeah. I, I have chain mail. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, disadvantage. Already with a minus one. Alright, yeah. so we've had... I'll say she's a 14. It's not looking too good. Uh, as you guys are walking down, you, you realize that just... It, it's nothing like unusual. It's just you've got a tortoise here with uh, chain mail and the, the the footsteps aren't exactly the lightest and the mail isn't exactly the quietest and as you guys are going down you realize that uh, that the sounds of scuffling has stopped. You know friends, I think maybe stealth isn't our best option in the future. What do you say? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with a direct approach. I'm not a very stealthy person. Alright, um, and as you- so what's the- what's the uh, order of advancement here? Orin will go down last. I will go down after, uh, Mayoshi? Masayoshi. Masayoshi, or- fuck, I'm gonna call you Yoshi. <laughs> I can't pronounce it right now, but I am going to take the dodge action cautiously as I go down there. Alright. And I guess I'm in the middle. So, uh, as you guys go down, you see that there are a group of cultists ready to, uh, ready to strike as you come downstairs. They seem to be waiting for a first move. I would like you all to, uh, roll for initiative. 
Uh, looks like combat, right? Yep. Uh, and I can make it past. I'm gonna watch out for the trap on the stairs, and I'm going oh, to walk. You guys are way past that. The trap at the stairs oh. are near at the top, so. So I can go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yep. And I will use my bonus action to wild shape into the rock elemental. And I will take two slams, one to my right and one to my left. Let me just uh, pull up the screen. So yeah, I'll attack this guy first and then this guy with slam. Okay. Can you control it? Oh, that's advantage. Oops. Yeah, it, it's me. Okay. Uh, slam does work. Uh, it does hit. Let me so get... Why is that an advantage? I gotta turn this on. I'm sorry. I mean, we'll just take uh, the first roll. The yeah, 24. The first one. Okay, so the first one's a 24 to hit. I'm assuming that hits. Yeah, 24 hits. So slam. So my next attack, let's roll this again. I have advantage turned off. It's on normal. Smack. Is that for the same one? Uh, no, the one to the right, down below. Okay. Uh, both of them look very much hurt, but they're still standing barely. Okay, do you want me to roll damage on the second guy? 13 hit? Oh, that was for hit, sorry. Yeah. Uh, b b still hit, so yeah, that okay. one roll for damage. Okay, no, he's dead. Jeez, <laughs> <great>. <laughs> I just turned this guy into paste. Yeah, just pulverized. Stone on stone is all you hear, and that's my turn. Well, you hear stone on stone and a squelch <laughs> and a few crunches, and it's game over. <laughs> All right, uh, with that, it's the cultist that just got Schmack's turn. Uh, he is going to take a hit. Oh, is he? Take a swing for you. At least try to. Okay. What's your AC? Uh, 19. Oh, okay, even as a stone elemental? Yeah, because the as a druid, when you shift, like if your gear can fit you, like bracers and stuff that expand because they're magical, I still get that AC bonus. Okay. Well, uh, he rolled an eight total. <laughs> okay. So he takes a swing, and you can just hear the clang of of metal hearing hitting stone. This guy's not doing too hot. Uh, Orin, it is your turn. Yeah, Orin just, just will... to let you know, this m middle post here is um, what you can't pass through it since it's like a that's fine post. All right. I'll just move right here, and I'm going to cast Entangle on this entire the entire group of enemies. And let me you see draw here, like a circle or something. Uh, nice. yeah. In a in a second, let me just make sure of something. Um. Because it depend determines where I place it. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'll place it. It's a twenty foot cube, and I'll just make. Where's the draw free hand? Actually, we'll do a rectangle. The twenty foot cube. So you won't be able to get all of them in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, no. Wait. No. Never mind. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So. All of them, that is difficult terrain, and also uh, they must succeed a strength saving throw or be restrained now. Okay, so is that at the beginning of the turn? No, it's right now. Oh, right now? Okay. So strength saving throw or be restrained. So let's yeah, go for this, the top left one. The save DC is 17. Uh -huh. And They just... are all restrained. <laughs> all right, doesn't... so what that means is all of their speeds become zero, uh, they can't get any bonuses to their speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have a disadvantage, and they also have disadvantage on deck saving throws. <laughs> okay. And they will have to use, uh, what's it called? To get out of it, um, they can have to use an action to make a strength saving throw against my spell save DC to get out of it. They have to make a strength plus, sorry, what? They have to use their action to make a strength saving throw to break out of being restrained. Okay. 
against my space. Ooh, that's so nice. I'll save DC. Yeah. Okay. Well. And I, I do have bonus actions, I guess. Do I have any, uh... I, I don't think I actually have any bonus actions I can do here, so I will end my turn. All right. Masayoshi, it is your turn. Uh, I shall attack. All right. I will use this guy's looking pretty hurt, so... The, well, I'll start with the uh, radiant Oops. That hits. Uh, 16 hits, yes. Okay. Yep. Well, it's actually a 27. No, I... Oh, yeah, no, I do have... I did have advantage. I forgot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so both hit. And... Uh, damage. Yeah. Uh, total of 6 damage. Um, and as... There you go. Uh, as the attack uh, hits, the, the uh, Radiant Blade, like, turns into, like, a flowing light that... Orbits, uh, Masayoshi. He gains one radiant ring. Uh, as All a right. bonus action, I will give, uh, the Brock Elemental a Bardic Inspiration. I That's will... wonderful. <laughs> I <will> also <laughs> reaction, uh, cast Gallant Inspiration. Uh, which does this. Effectively, you can apply it to both your uh, attack roll and damage roll. And that's a D... It is a D... Uh, 10. D10? Okay. I'll remember that. Oh, so you can add a D10 to your attack roll, and then it deals that same amount in damage as well? You just rolled again. Uh, oh, okay, so you re-roll again for the damage. Indeed. Uh, and that is Masayoshi. a good start let's keep going yep all right torty dude i can't believe the turtle is not last <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome well let's see i'm gonna cast guiding bolt on the fanatic all right is that a roll to hit situation? Yeah. Okay. You also have advantage on that one, right? Yep. You have advantage on every single person that's down right now. Oh, shit. Well, the second one was a natural oh! 20. Let's go. This is the way. Roll the damage. <laughs> So, Show us this crit. Damn. So, wait, we run off special crit rules though, right? Yeah. So it's. So it's, is it is it forty six damage? So it's seventeen plus twenty four. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Seventeen plus twenty four. Holy shit. Damn. The, whoever hit is dead, right? <laughs> he hit the he hit the fanatic. Oh, uh, the, the fanatic main one. Okay. is not dead, but he's looking very hurt in the process. <laughs> <laughs> we freaking came back with a vengeance. Yeah. All right, is that your turn? Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, it's the fanatic's fuck. turn. Uh, he is going to um, inflict wounds on uh, Zakarian since he's right there. Inflict Wounds is still touch. Yep. Sorry, what? Inflict Wounds is still touch. Oh, it's touch. Touch, fuck, that's right. Also, he has disadvantage on attack rolls, by the way. Any attack rolls. Yep. And his movement's zero. Uh, he can't make a strength saving throw, though. What does that takes an action, right? Yep. All right, Sacred Flame. So make a Dex saving throw, Zakari. It's not bad. Only a negative one. Mm -hmm. It's a three. <laughs> that hits. That's... Oh, that's, that's uh, Radiant, though, right? Yeah, that's seven Radiant damage. I'm resistant yeah. to Radiant damage. So you take um, round up as four. Four? Okay. 
uh, that's his turn. This cultist is going to use his turn to try and escape from the the thing. So he makes a strength save. Yeah. No disadvantage or anything. Um. Nope. Okay. That Just is a natural twenty. Save. He does free himself, and All that right. is his action. Yep, that is his action. Um. If he starts his next turn in here, is he going to um, um, incur problems? It's just difficult terrain. Nope, it's just difficult terrain, yeah. Okay. So 10, 20, and he's going to stop there. This one is going to also free, try to free himself. That's two, so he doesn't. Uh... And that's that. It's the carry, and it is your turn again. All right, I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, and then I'm gonna take a slam against him, and then against him. So, am I on my rock elemental right now? Yes. So, slam attack with the. Oh, he's that free, advantage. so. No, that, that one I'm attacking first is free. Oh, okay. And so, damage. Yeah, that guy's dead. And then the guy he I have and gets slammed dead. And the guy I have advantage against. Okay. Uh, that's a hit as well. Wait, which one? Is it the other cultist or are you attacking the cult fanatic? This guy right here. Okay. The cultist. Yeah, that guy is barely holding on right now. And that would be my turn, I believe. I just get two slam attacks. You 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 bonk him good. <laughs> <laughs> and it just you hear a rocky grumble when I talk in your head and say it's time to get the last two. All right, Oren. All right, yeah. Um, Oren is going to. Let's see here. He's gonna move just up to. Uh, yeah, here, and he's going to cast Toll of the Dead on uh yeah the small one all right yeah um and that'll be a save of he needs to make a wisdom save of 17. okay that's a seven he fails Ouch. he takes 2d12 don't don't even um, bother <laughs> let him bother he wants he had, to see he it one hp <laughs> Well, I rolled, he did, oh, it didn't show up in the thing, but he did do uh, 15 damage, just so okay. you know. <laughs> oh, there it <laughs> is! <laughs> cool. Is that your and turn? then, uh, yeah, that, that's the end of his turn. Okay. Masayoshi. 10, 20, 30. I attack with a Radiant Blade. All right, go for it. And it has advantage. 26. That hits. Three damage. Uh, Ouch. The light of the blade turning into another radiant ring. And he will attack with his dueling saber of radiance. 28. That hits. Doing Much 12 better. radiant damage additionally. He right. a, oh, a lot better than last time. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys are you guys are crushing it right now. Yes. Um, as he rolled a 19, uh, I can, uh, as part of that attack, give a bardic inspiration free to a person, and I will give that to Warren. Yes. Uh, the bardic inspiration itself is created from the blade. Ooh. That's dope. The, it's like it's like a ping, like the the blade let out a ringing sound. Yeah, Wait, are you maintaining uh, your uh, elemental shape? Oops. Also, before uh, anybody leaves, Orin will say, just give me uh, one moment, and he'll walk over to one of the dead bodies, and he's going to put some of their blood in a vial. Oh. Uh, what were you saying about my elemental? Are you maintaining your element form? Oh, for five hours, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, it, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it takes both of his wild <laughs> shapes, but... It's dope. And the fact that we have uh, telepathic communication makes it even more useful. Right. 
we can just move along into the next room again, or I can prep another spell if we'd like. Whichever. Uh, uh, Wait, I... can we tell if there's people in the next room? Can we hear anybody? You were told that uh, there's the the hall where they had cultists, and in the next room there was like this old dude and like four or five rakshasa. So you can assume that if it's the same as before, it's th there's people. You can make a perception check if you would like. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Just I'll step back onto this body. Just crush the dude. He's just <laughs> been splatted. The the door is wooden, so you can't you can like make out sounds beyond it, but you can't really hear any talking. You just hear um, if you've ever heard like a hookah. That's a hookah? What sound? What what are those what are those things? They're like they're, they put like tobacco in it. Yeah, that's a hookah. Okay, I'm like, am I getting the right word? But yeah. And it, and legitly, it just sounds like a it's big like ass a bong. bong. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say like it's a, it's similar to a bong. I'm not, I'm just not sure if it sounds the same. Um, More of a bubbler type sound build. Mm -hmm. Uh, in my head, I'll say if you want to take the risk of casting a spell, I'll stand guard at the door and smash the first person who comes through it. Yeah, I'll I'll put it up. It lets me detect magic, so if we can get that up, we'll be able to not have to worry about traps. And, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, if something happens, I'll immediately drop it. But I'll stand at the uh, door and hold my action to hit the first person who comes through it hostily, or if it comes through all right. it at all. He's gonna start casting his uh, spell. It'll it takes ten minutes, so just let me know if that's successful or not, or if when somebody would come in if they do. Uh, for those whole ten minutes, there doesn't seem to be anybody that comes inside. Alright, cool. Uh, I have Detect Magic up. Um, for an... It's an hour with... Con I will state that it is concentration, so... Just, yeah, where's that? But I do have Detect Magic up. So if there's any magical presence presences in this room um can i see them in this in, in your room right now yeah anything in this room on somebody's person or just the wall the doors anything is there any magic um, you can see that the uh the cult fanatic actually has a uh like a holy symbol that is imbued with magic He'll lean down and uh, rip it off his chest, and can I tell- what kind of magic is it imbued with? What school of magic, uh, I mean? Fuck, what- what is- what is in, like, a holy symbol have? Divination, I think? It's just- Well, divination's detection magic. Oh, never mind then. Um, you said it's a holy symbol? Yeah, so, like, clerics and paladins have them. Depends on what it does, though. If it's just a whole yeah, symbol, it's the it's it, magic. it would have the if it has a spell effect on it, it would have that magic. I would just say it's just generally magical. Okay, so there's it, I can tell that it's a pretty mundane magical effect. Yeah. Like it's just that it's it's made it's made to channel magic, not like cast itself. Yeah. It, it's a focus. All right, I don't think there's anything of use in this room, but we should be wary of the next room. And if we can buy at least a moment or two for me to scout the room ahead. Oh, you and want to scout the room ahead? Any... If we head into the next room and there's uh, a group of enemies awaiting us, I can at least see where any traps they've laid are, and I'll relay those to you. All right, I'll let him go ahead of me then. Does anyone find it funny that we're well, shit at uh... health, but we're actually super cautious? He, uh, I do. Th yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. He'll he'll go, he'll go in. Okay. And so when he enters the room, can I? Is there any magic in this? Where can I? Could you pinpoint the magic locations in this room? Uh, there doesn't seem to be any magic. There is, seems to be like a similar 
uh, signature to the holy symbol uh, coming from the old man at the end of the hall. I'm just filling in these here. But there doesn't seem to be anything innately magical here. All right, uh, and he'll just kind of walk back into the room and he'll be like, all right, I don't see any magical traps, Lane, but they did inform us that there was an ambush, so I, I suggest we don't go too far into the room. We f try and fight them on this side of the room. You just for hear from beyond the door, it's just like, is, uh, is everything all right over there? He peeks back out the door. Uh, just, just, just give us a moment. Uh, we're just communicating. Uh, okay, uh, just, okay, I understand. Yeah, it'll be... Thank you. And he heads back in. Uh, so, shut yeah, just door. let... Yeah, shut the door. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we open it again, like, ten fucking rock shots on the other side. <laughs> so, in, in your head, you'll hear me go, he's awfully casual about this, considering the amount of blood on the ground behind us. It's not exactly invisible. Uh... I don't think I... Maybe he's conversational. These are clearly cultists. I don't... Try... And they've killed the last party that came in here, so I don't trust them to be quite as amicable as we'd hope. If, I remember if anything, they're putting said, on a front. If I remember what Maverick said, they were able to glean some information about this place by talking to this person. But... But don't well, if, go uh, uh, initiating the fights by saying, yeah, we're, we're going to have to kill you. Well, if anybody wants to do to the talking, uh, I will let you lead the way and I shall stick behind. All right. I don't, I don't exactly talk in this form is all you hear in your head. <laughs> that is uh, understandable. So. I open the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I called it. Um